Greetings and salutations, you guys. It's Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Because we're all doing fantastic. Sorry about like the crazy lighting, but um, this is the only spot in the parking lot. We are here at Savers in Fountain Valley. I haven't been here in a while. This is my first time here this year. I know it's still January, but I mean, I haven't been here in a hot second, so I'm really excited to take you guys into the store. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, vlogs, Home Decor videos, I do also live sales every Friday and Saturday night where we do a giveaway, free to join, super fun. Then do not forget to subscribe to the little bell button so you're notified when new videos do go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here, and check out the shop at Hadrian.com to see whatever sale from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's go to the store and go check it out. All right, here we are at Savers. Okay, I don't remember when they started doing this, but they're like attaching the clothes to the thing. And like they're like the expensive ones, so like this one's 50. These current Elliot pants, 70 bucks. Nuts. Anyway, handbags. Oh, this Michael Kors one is kind of cute. 45. Oh, this Dooney and Burke though is really fun too. I like the colors. How much are you? Um, 45 also. There's a bunch of Mickey ears. Whoa, 20 bucks. These are expensive. I wonder if this is a real Supreme backpack. It's only 30 bucks. Might not be, I'm not sure. So this Dooney for 35, Steve Madden backpack, then that one. Mickey Mouse, what is this? Katie, Kate Spade, 25 bucks. Coach, Coily Canvas. This is actually a nice size, this is huge. And then we have one of these Harvey seatbelt bags. All right, I am now in just like the regular handbag section. So let's see if they missed anything. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> we're just gonna look at all the bags and see if we can find anything. Pleather, pleather. I usually just like to touch everything and like see. That's the easiest way to feel if something. Oh, be real. That's what I'm saying. Real leather bags, that's what we want. Um, okay, so. Last, oh, you know one time? I think the best find that I ever found at, actually at this particular location, was that I found, this is a Michael Kors, but it is a hot mess. Uh, I think we're gonna say no to this one. Anyway, I found a Fendi bag here. It was like the one with like the giant buckle. It was so cute, and it was just like a little damaged, but we fixed it up, and it's like dreams. Um, and yeah, it has sold a while ago. Like that was a while ago that I found that, but it was so cool, and I'm always hoping to find something like that again. So we're always hopeful we can find a treasure that like slips through. Oh, there's a B. Mikowski. It's like super um, patinaed though. And, yeah, I don't even want to look for the price. I don't think I want to get it regardless. Oh, uh, this looks like one of those, like, clear Chanel bags, right? So cute. Oh, my gosh, I actually would love a clear Chanel bag. Like those, but they're so expensive just for, like, the PVC, you know? Like, I feel like you could just buy, like, a pre-loved, a really good condition pre-loved leather Chanel bag for that price. So, yeah, anyway, we're still hunting, still searching. Oh my gosh, this looks like a Loewe hammock bag, $13.99. It's like pleather for sure, though. Always look at the pouches, too. Sometimes there is like a fancy pouch that they miss. Samantha Vega. Hmm, don't know who that is. But let's put it back up. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. Well, as I was putting that back up, I found this furla. It's like literally right in front of my eyeballs. Furla, it's like a um What kind of leather is this? It's kind of like Epsomish. And I can't believe it's only $7.99. It just needs a little touch up on the handles 
But I mean, a furlough tote for $7.99 is not bad. Um, yeah, and it's authentic. Made in Tunisia, yep. Okay, we found something. Very exciting. Pretty sure we're gonna get this one. Is there anything else? This is leather. Oh, this is a coach bag. Um, the color, I think it used to be like a metallic, but it has started rubbing off. This is $12.99. I mean, should we get this? $12.99? We can practice this bronze color on it, because I think I have bronze paint. Okay, we're gonna hold on to it. We're gonna think about it. We're gonna ruminate. Oh, it does also have like a longer strap, which is nice. And it's currently stuck on me. And... Alright, so far too. They're like literally right next to each other too. This is like a cute style, but this is a pleather one as well. This one kind of looks like a YSL. Hmm. Oh, this is a Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, this is like one of those vintage, like those older ones, and they like Rebecca first came out. Um, it's like suede and gold. Oh, the little thing came out right here. Uh, maybe no. The style also isn't like my absolute fave, but it's interesting. I've never seen this style of Rebecca Minkoff bags before. This is like kind of cute. Joy Iman. Okay, so I'm almost to the end. Uh, I haven't found anything else. Um, I've got this. <laughs> oh, a Bakie tote, but it is broken on the zipper part, so we'll skip that one. Um, Lancome pouch. Um, now we're in like the backpacks. This is a uh, Peter something. Something and something. But I think it's patent, so it's okay. And oh look at this flower. I love this wallet it has an apple sticker on it. It's <laughs> Steve Madden. Um uh, many petty funds. The floor of pouch. This is actually like kinda cute. I was gonna say that this looks like it's paper chase and it is. Paper chase was in borders. And I think they also had free snacking stores. There's this Kipling bag right here. Uh, it's broken though, like around the zipper area. So we'll pass on that one. Um, this leather? I don't think so. Uh, oh, we got a B. Mikowski. $5.99. Do we like this? Like the style is kind of cute, but the color needs a little bit of a refreshy. I'm just holding on to it for now. We'll decide in a little bit. I can't make any decisions right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks like a Jiwan Shito, but it's not. Okay, so I'm looking through like the blankets and stuff. I don't usually film going through here, but for like you resellers, out there like sometimes blankets and like bedding can be something that is um good to resell like sort of like certain patterns and certain things like if you find like vintage like ralph lauren sheets like with the bears those are like amazing or you can find fabric to like repurpose like make into masks or whatever you know so there's always a lot of things you can do you look through the fabrics. Plus, this is where I found, well, not in this particular store, but going through the blankets and stuff is where I found one of my Hermes blankets. So, I mean, it could be pretty good. 
Also, this hand towel is kind of cute. This is a cute print. Oh, there's a second towel. Oh, there's another one. Let's look at the furniture. Anything cool? There's lots of bookshelves. There's that cool looking desk. I don't know why I like these knobs. Like these little poles. Did they change these out? Probably. I don't know. Wow. Oh, this is like a, what is that called? That's not Dove. But, oh, that's Dove. Oh, this was well made. Or was it not? I don't know. I don't know furniture. Well, I do a little bit, but not this. Oh, it's stuck. All right. I'm looking through the dinnerware, kitchen stuff. How cute is this? This is pretty. I don't think I'll find anything interesting. Ooh, a flower. Baby cakes, cake pops. Ooh, I've never seen these before. That's cool, $5.99. One time at this store, I found two Tiffany crystal um, beer mugs. And since that time, I'm like always hopeful to find more. I don't know why I'm like that. Every time I find something in a store, I always think I'm gonna like maybe find it again because I'm crazy. But I mean, crazier things have happened. Also, I dropped all the bags. I don't think I'm gonna get any of them. I just like really don't wanna get anything right now that requires too much work because I already have a pretty big pile of bags I wanna like fix up and work on. So I'm definitely not gonna be working on those. Oh my gosh, this penguin cup is so cute. Pure one porcelain. Ooh, I like this print or design. That's nice. How cute is this little bird? Two, 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 fifth. Ah, they always have the cutest things. What is this? No. Yeah, these like kind of cute too. Like polka dots. Oh, it's silk scraps. I can. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see it right there. It's like embossed on there. You can barely read it. But. Uh, Oneida. The print is coming off though, which is a bummer. Ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this thing weighs 8 million pounds. Pottery barn. Yep, I already have like a set of 10 of those, so I said, don't need it. Ooh, ice bucket. Why does this look so cool? <laughs> There's two of them. Ooh, look at these. Marquee by Waterford, four ninety nine each. Oh, one of them is chipped. I was gonna get these from my aunt. Is the other one also chipped? I don't want to get it though. If there's only one, I wanted to get a pair for her. One day I'm gonna find a pair for her. Marquee by Waterford. Oh, what a bummer. I'm so sad that it's chipped. I'm sad. Sad, sad, sad. I'm pretty sure this is Mikasa. I think I actually have one of those. Or I think I actually bought one for one of my aunts. So I no longer have it. Alright, I am in the sunglasses and the watches wonder if there's anything interesting here there's a toy birch pair of glasses right there it might just be a case but all the Gucci glasses hey guys okay so we are back at the house and unfortunately at this door i didn't end up picking up anything i was just like nothing really sung or spoke to me and you guys know like these past like year, two years, I have been kind of like trying, ever since Marie Kondo came out, I've been trying to like Marie Kondo what I'm buying from the thrift. So 
if it doesn't spark, I feel like everything at the thrift sparks joy, but like if it doesn't spark a certain amount of joy, I am not taking it. But I do have some stuff to share with you guys that I picked up from other stores that I've been to that I didn't necessarily film in, though they have probably popped up on Instagram and like my Instagram stories or something. So I'm here to share with you guys why I ended up getting. I know a lot, like if you guys already follow me on Instagram, definitely head over. I have the link down below in the description box. But I know a lot, like, um, a lot of you guys don't have Instagram or whatever, so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I have. Um, let's start off first with this one. This is a Radley of London metallic bronze bag, and I have just been super duper into metallic bags recently, and I love a good hobo, so I thought this was really cute that has uh, gunmetal colored hardware, and the leather is a pebbled leather. There's a front pocket right here um, with a magnetic snap closure, which is nice. The bag does zip all the way across the top as well. And then the interior has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. Um, the leather does have a little bit of wear, especially on the back. Um, actually, I think that might be a, like a dirt thing. So I might actually be able to clean that off. Um, though, I don't know if I have this particular color in my metallics collection of paints, but if I can mix up something to paint it up, because there is some color loss right here on the front and a little bit right here where the buckle is, so it might be cool to kind of like try it out on this and see if I can successfully match it. I've never mixed, um, metallic paints before. I've only ever... Uh, just like used them on leather and they are fantastic. It's super duper fun. I don't know why like painting with metal metallic acrylic paint on leather bags I think is just I don't know. It's a different experience than just using regular paint I think it's because it's like shiny and shimmery and it looks really pretty. So yeah I don't know. We'll try it out and see what we can do with this Otherwise, it's still in pretty great shape and I think the bag has a lot of life left and this one was seven dollars there's a sticker right there seven dollars and 99 cents for this guy we'll just throw him back here this is some of the other stuff that i've been filming my hauls for so you guys will see those videos i'll have them linked if they've um already popped up already already popped up that is so redundant um then up next I have this, I really like this bag. This is a Rebecca Minkoff satchel and it's in black smooth leather on the front and the back and the bottom. And then like the little wings of the bag are in this embossed printed, kind of like a sneak print design, lizard print design, which I think is cool. The hardware is black tonal hardware. I love when hardware is like the same color as the leather. I think that's really cool. And then just like the zipper portion right here is in a gunmetal um, colored hardware. And then here is the interior. It has a zipper pocket and then a little card pocket and then two open pockets down below. And this does zip all the way across the top. This is missing though a crossbody strap, though it is a black bag. So it's easy enough to find one to attach. Usually, um, any black strap will do, or you can do like a cool, like colorful contrasting strap, which I also really like. I love like, kind of like personalizing your handbags that way by adding like a different kind of strap. I always think that's really fun. And then we have, oh, this one was $9.99. So this was $10 from the Goodwill. So I think it's a beautiful bag. I, I like it, I like it a lot. So I'm pretty excited about this guy. We'll put this one over here next to Karopi. And then, last but not least, this one was such a good find because normally, like, okay, don't tell the good ones, but they're usually pretty good at finding the designer bags. Like, especially Tory Burch. Like, especially as of late, they have been really pushing finding the designer bags and they put them up on shopgoodwill.com. Um, and yeah. So they put them like on their online, kind of like eBay style stores. Uh, but I still managed to find this Tory Burch tote bag. It's probably because it doesn't scream Tory Burch and it's like a larger, uh, I don't know, it's like not like very Tory Burchy. Um, it does say Tory Burch New York right here on the top and then it has a T. Um, this little, the, the, the leather T piece is in Nubuck and then the sides are in a regular um, grained leather, so it's like 
maroon. It's a beautiful bag and it has top handles. The top handles are actually a good drop size. So it actually sits really nicely on your shoulder and it's not like so super duper long. So, and the reason for that is because the bag doesn't actually have like a zipper across the top. So then you don't want the straps to be too long because when you have it like this, you don't want anyone to be able to like reach into the back. So this is like literally the perfect drop so that you can still like use your arm to like close up the bag and kind of protect it from anyone, any prying hands or anything like that. But I love that the inside is in this beautiful like bright magenta leather. Uh, this bag is gorgeous. And then what's even better is that it comes with a removable zipper pouch. So it's almost like a two for one because I do love a good pouch. And you can use this as an evening bag, clutch, makeup bag. You can put it into another bag. So it's definitely very usable still. And it also has a little Tory Burch um, like metal detail right there at the bottom and then it has um the brass hardware and then the interior of this little pouch is also in pink which is nice and this bag was 13 dollars right there it's just written in there um but yeah the bag itself is in great shape there are a couple little pin marks on the inside i'm gonna try to remove them hopefully maybe with like a little amidex or um shoe cleaner or something and there is also, I don't know if this is like a pen mark or if it's just a scratch, but I'm going to use an eraser to see if I can remove this. I don't know if it's even showing up on camera, but we'll see what we can do. And, but the bag is such in great, it's such, such, such great shape. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk anymore. But that is actually going to round out today's video. I hope you guys had fun checking out the store. I know I didn't find anything, but I mean, you're not going to find something at every thrift store. And sometimes you're just going to leave empty-handed. That's why when I go thrifting, I like to visit more than one store. Like um, these videos that you see throughout the week, I film all of them like literally in with two, within two days. And each day I visit like five six seven even eight stores and i don't necessarily show every store that i go to especially if there's nothing really interesting to show so but this one i thought had cool stuff i just didn't get anything so but i sh showed you guys what i got um when i went to other stores i didn't film in but they ended up being on instagram so don't forget to give me a follow on instagram because you'll see even more stuff there as far as thrifting goes Join the live sales. Um, these bags will be for sale in the lives. So Friday and Saturday night every single week at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I do a giveaway each night too. And it's free to join. Um, and I, I always think we always have a blast. So um, I'll see you guys then, hopefully. But every day is a new video. So the new one's up tomorrow at 7 a.m. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, bye!